Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to solve this lovely little math word problem. Matter of fact, let's go and read the problem now. It says a 20 inch wide round pizza has eight slices. So already probably a lot of you out there are getting hungry as pizza, pizza is such an awesome food. But anyways, I digress. So a 20 inch wide round pizza has eight slices. We wanna find the perimeter of one slice. So that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. And of course, I'm gonna solve this step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in, descript in the description below. And if this video helps you out, hopefully it doesn't make you too hungry as we are talking about pizza, uh, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. Of course, if you're not ready to see the answer, just pause the video. But let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. Of course, we want to find the perimeter of one of the slices of pizza in this scenario. So what is the answer? Well, the perimeter of one slice is approximately 27.85 inches. So if you got an answer that's pretty close to this and the, um, your actual answers can vary, it all depends upon, um, well, you'll see what it depends upon, but you'll know whether in fact you got this right. You should have got an answer somewhere, a decimal somewhere in this ballpark right here, 27.85. All right, so how'd you do? Well, if you got this right, let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and A plus, A 100% and multiple stars. Matter of fact, if I could, I would also give you a slice of pizza, but we'll give you those multiple stars and a slice of pizza so you could tell your friends and family that you solved an interesting little math word problem today. I'm pretty sure they'll be very excited for you. Who knows, maybe they'll take you out for some pizza. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get into this problem. Now, of course, um, when you're dealing with a math word problem, you always want to read the problem more than one time. Now, this is a pretty classic mistake where people read a problem once and then just start doing stuff. You really got to calm yourself down, read the problem one time just to kind of get you know your bearings on what's going on, read it again, start pulling in more details of the problem, and then the third time you read the problem, you really want to make sure you understand the question. So we're dealing with a 20 inch wide round pizza. Okay. Because you know, pizzas can be other than round. So if we just said a 20 inch wide pizza, I think most people would interpret that, but you could have little rectangular pizzas like that. Uh, those are just as good as the round pizzas as well. But anyways, so we're dealing with this 20 inch wide round pizza that has eight slices and we want to find the perimeter of one slice. So you can kind of see here, um, I have a bit of a model, and that's what you want to do. You want to uh, take the information in a math word problem and construct some sort of model. You know, make it as visual as possible. Now, some problems you can see, you can construct a nice sketch for. Others you can't, but, you know, you want to use graphic organizers, things like sketches, tables, you know, uh, anything that kind of helps visualize the problem. Because when you can kind of see the problem visually, it's going to really... Um, help you figure out you know the path to go from the problem to the solution okay you need a strategy and uh, you know having a visualization of the problem is an excellent way to see what's going on all right so what i'm going to do is draw a nice little round pizza here okay so of course i have a nice circle nice round circle and it has eight slices, right? So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, of course, we wanna assume that each pizza slice is equal to the other. So if you were like, well, you know, could you have a pizza and it could be like, you know, eight slices, you know, like this way, you know, of course you could make, you know, uh, kind of, you never wanna look into a math word problem and read more into it. You kind of wanna assume, um, uh, you wanna be, What's the word I'm trying to say here? You don't want to confuse yourself with, but like, well, they didn't say this, they don't, they didn't say that. Now that is important, but if you're dealing with like a uh, a math test question on a standardized test, like the GED, SAT, ACT, um, or even like in your math class, you, know, you kind of want to don't, you don't want to over 
um, complicate the scenario. Okay, so even if you know the detail isn't clear here, I could have said, "Hey, 20 inch wide round pizza where all the slices are perfectly the same size." You know, you're gonna have to make a little bit of assumptions on your own. It's not it's not the way it should be, but it is the way it is sometimes with particular math problems. Okay, so anyways, so hopefully. Um, you understand that this is the scenario. So we have a round pizza here, or at least a sketch of it. Now, this is a 20 inch wide round pizza. So the width from here to here is 20 inches. And right here, I am um, kind of highlighting one slice of pizza. Okay, so we want to find the perimeter of one slice of pizza. So what does that mean? Okay, what does a perimeter mean? Well, let's suppose I wanted to find the perimeter of a shape like this, a figure like this. All the perimeter means is that you're going to add up uh, all the total sides of that figure. Okay, so whatever this length is, plus this length, plus that length, plus this length, plus that length, and this length, all together is the perimeter. Okay, now when we're dealing with circles, circles don't really have a perimeter. The perimeter of a circle is something called the circumference. We're going to be talking about that here in a second. But conceptually speaking, uh, what you want to do is interpret this problem as, oh, you want the perimeter of this uh, one slice of pizza. So in other words, we want the total distance from here, here, and here. Okay, so that is the question. All right, so um, basically, we're going to need to know a thing or two about circles. And of course, we know that this is a 20 inch wide circle, which hopefully that, um, you know, kind of triggers some bells in your memory about, oh, yeah, what's the width of a circle? There's another name to it. Well, let's go ahead and talk about that right now. OK, so the width of a circle is technically something called the diameter. OK, so the diameter is the full complete width of the circle. Now, we don't say how wide the circle is. OK, you might um uh, say, you know, what is, you know, you're not going to say, what's the diameter of a pizza? You're like, hey, how wide is this pizza? So you just need to understand that the width, the full width of a circle is something called the diameter. So in this particular circle, the diameter is 20 and half of the diameter, okay, is the radius. So the radius is 10 inches. So the diameter, excuse me, it would be 20 inches and all, all the entire, all these diameters, of course, you know, you're kind of seeing this figure go through the center of the circle, okay? So from the center out radiates the radius, okay? So the radius, so is from here, this is a radius, this is a radius, this is a radius, that's a radius. So two of the radius, a radius and a radius, um, would be the diameter, the full width. So if the width of the circle, again, is 20, half of that uh, distance is the radius. So that would be 10, okay? So from here, from the center out, that's 10. So from here, that's 10. So 10 inches to be more precise. So here we have 10 inches and here we have 10 inches. So we're almost there. Okay. So we, you know, we want to find the total distance around this one slice of pizza. What we need now is this distance right there. Okay. So how do we find this distance? Well, that's probably going to be the most interesting part of this problem. So what we're going to need to do is we need to find the arc length. Okay, now when you're dealing with a circle, all, the distance around a, um, a complete circle is what we call the circumference. Okay, but anytime you're dealing with just a part of a circle, like from here to here, this measure is what we call an arc. Okay, now I can measure in degrees. That would be the arc, the measure of the arc. Okay, but if I want to find the length of an arc on a circle, like say from here to here, we're talking about something called arc length. Okay. Now, even if you didn't know that, as long as you understand what the circumference is, well, we can kind of figure this out because this length, this arc length from here to here is going to be one eighth of the circumference, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we find the entire circumference and divide it by eight. OK, that will be one of these little arc lengths right there. Of course, we're talking about all these pizza pizzas being the same size. So now what we need to do is to um, calculate what what one eighth of the circumference is. OK, so here you have all the information you need. The only additional piece of information you need to finish this problem out is the formula for circumference, uh, the circumference of a circle. So let's go ahead and get into that now. 
Okay, so the circumference of a circle is basically two formulas. Of course, they are equivalent. Uh, so if you have the radius, it's 2 pi r, and that's equal to two, the diameter times pi, okay, because 2 times the radius is, in fact, the diameter. So these are the uh, two ways that um, you'll see the formula for uh, the circumference. So let's go ahead and use the formulas to figure out what the circumference is, okay? So here... I have the radius being 10, but I also know the diameter is 20 inches. So that we'll go ahead and, and uh, do this problem with the, the, the diameter in mind. No need to do some extra multiplication. So the circumference is going to be the diameter times pi, which is easy. It's just going to be 20 times pi. So the circumference is 20 pi exactly inches. Okay, now I, I'm going to put in those units of measure because the circumference is... A, um, the unit of measure of circumference is distance. Okay, so if our diameter is inches, our circumference will be in inches as well. Now, our circumference is exactly 20 inches, okay, so 20 pi, excuse me, inches, because in mathematics, when you're dealing with pi, okay, if you're not familiar with pi, you need to be very familiar with pi. Um, pi is what we call an irrational number. Okay, so this pi is approximately equal to 3.14. This decimal goes on and on and on to infinity. It's what we call a non-repeating, non-terminating decimal. It's irrational. It's not possible to count out all these digits. So when we start using decimals to um, uh, replace this pi with some sort of decimal, like say 3.14, Everything from that point forward becomes an approximation, okay? But this answer, technically in mathematics, is what we call an exact, precise answer. You got to be very careful for that because um, in math questions, they'll say, find the exact, you know, circumference or the exact volume or the, so when you're dealing with circles or spheres and things like that, they use the word exact. What they're telling you is that leave that pi in all by itself. And if they don't use that or find the approximate value, then you're going to have to... Uh, uh, take that pi out and put in a decimal uh, approximation. Now, the more digits of pi you use, the more accurate your answer is going to be. So this is why I said in the very beginning when I showed you the solution to this video or to this problem that answers can vary all depending on how many digits of pi you choose to use. Now, you could bring up pi in your calculator. You can look it up. So I'm just going to keep it super simple. Well, I'll use 3.14, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Okay, so I know the circumference is now 20 pi inches exactly, but what I want is one eighth of the circumference. Okay, so that'd be one eighth times the circumference or one eighth times 20 pi. So we'll just do some real basic fraction math. So one eighth, uh, one eighth times the circumference, which would be, of course, one eighth times 20 pi, which would be 20 pi over eight. Okay, so we'll reduce this fraction down to five halves or five pi over two, okay? So again, four goes into eight, two, and uh, four goes into 25. So this would be the exact, of course, we wanna put in units of measure, 20 pi over two inches is our arc length for one little pizza slice, okay? So basically, this is the length from here to here, and we already know that the sides here of the pizza are 10 inches. Okay, but let's go ahead and uh, uh, construct or get or calculate rather um, a, an approximation so we're not working with pi, so we get some basic idea. So what I'm going to do is take um, that 5 pi over 2. I'm going to replace that pi with a real super basic um, uh, approximation for um, estimation for pi. Okay. Now at a minimum, you should never use anything less than 3.14. Okay. You want to probably even use more decimal points. You can pull those up in your calculator, but just remember the more decimal points of pi you use, the more accurate your answer is going to be. So anyway, so let's go ahead and plug in 3.14 for that pi. So that's now going to be five times 3.14 divided by two. So that's going to be um, approximately 15.7 divided by two, which is approximately 7.85 inches. Okay, so now finally, finally, we have everything we need to know. So from here to here is approximately 7.85 inches. And then we know that these sides of the pizza is 10 inches. So the perimeter of one slice is going to be this 10 inches, this 10 inches, 10, 10. And of course, this 7.85 right here. Add them all together 
and you get 27.85 inches. Okay, so now if you were confused about this problem in terms of um, maybe the circumference or, you know, just kind of working with the concepts of it, hey, no big deal. What you want to do is brush up on your basic geometry. Now, if you need a good kind of rehash of basic geometric concepts like perimeter, or circumference, uh, surface area, things like that, I'm going to encourage you to check out my pre-algebra course because I do have a full chapter uh, there on kind of basic geometry. If you need like full on uh, geometry, I also have that course as well. OK, where I really get into arc length, really much more complicated stuff with circles. But um, hopefully this problem wasn't that difficult. And hopefully, if you're like thinking about this, there's nothing better than doing math and actually eating something that you like, some sort of snack. Maybe it will be a slice of pizza. But anyways, if this video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.